All right, number six. All right, DTSA members are placing boxes around the school to collect toys for a toy drive. That's so nice. Uh, to make a toy drive box, they start with a square sheet of cardboard, sides eight feet long. Uh, and they cut congruent squares from each corner of the cardboard sheet, then fold the sides up and tape the edges together as shown. The volume of the box depends on the size of the squares that are cut out from the corners uh, of the square cardboard sheet. Let V represent the volume of one of the boxes and X represent the volume of one of the sides of a smaller cut or a smaller square cut from the corners. Write a rule that expresses V as a function of X. Okay. Alright, so if this is, each side is 8, but I'm going to cut out an x by x square here and an x by x square here. Hmm. So what's the what's the distance from here to here? Eight, Eight minus two x. Eight minus two x, right? It's going to be our actual size. And the side over here will end up being the same thing, right? So the volume of our box. Length times width times height. Eight minus two x, and the height, length, width, and height. It doesn't say put it in standard form. It doesn't say compute the maximum volume. It just says write it as a function. You sure could. Alright, number seven. Find the domain of each seven, A, B, and C. F of x is equal to negative two x squared all over x plus three and x minus five. Okay, so the domain is basically all real numbers minus any restrictions, right? We've got to take out the restrictions. So x cannot equal, can never have zero in our denominator. So we're going to make sure that x is never equal to negative three or five, right? Yep. So if we write that in one notation, negative infinity to negative three, union negative three to five, union five to infinity. Questions on 7A. 7B. Alright, so we just got to remember x cannot equal negative 2 or 3. So it's negative infinity to negative 2. Union negative 2 to 3, union 3 to infinity. What did I forget? What? Cannot equal, thank you. Okay, C. 
I I have got the camera back to Pete's old version. Shh. <laughs> it didn't. It's so. just that. Oh, it is that. I don't know. All right, what does that denominator factor into? X plus two squared. Right? So X cannot equal negative two. So our domain is negative infinity all the way up to negative two. And then from negative two up to infinity. Questions on seven? Nope. All right, number eight. It says use long division to divide. So we're going to do x squared minus 5x plus 6. Divide that into x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. Okay, what do I got to multiply x squared by to get x cubed? X. X. Whoa. Wait, he, I'm confused. <laughs> x squared times x because I got <coughs> I remember, I got that. Like, how'd you get that set up? It's in the book. What? Yours is what? Different. It's different. Yeah. Your problem's different? Yeah, number eight, right? Yeah, number eight. What does your problem say? Use long division to divide x to the third minus eight divided by x okay. squared minus five x plus six. So x to the third minus eight oh, divided yours. by x squared minus oh, five. Oh, you just added zero. Okay, we're good. Me, confusing me. I'm good. Must be that low. You confused me. I was like, oh, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You gotta figure out what you gotta multiply this first term by to get this term. The answer is x. So now we're gonna take x, multiply it by all of this, and put it down here. <coughs> so x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x. That's why I have those place values there, because you're gonna need them. And we're gonna subtract all of that, don't forget it. So these will cancel out. This is gonna be 5x squared. This is gonna be minus 6x, and then bring this down, minus 8. Now you gotta ask yourself, what do you multiply x squared by to get 5x squared? Plus 5, very good. So that's, we multiply now, 5 times all of that is gonna go 5x squared. Minus 25x plus 30. Subtract all of that. Those cancel out. So that becomes plus. So that is what? 19x? Minus 38. Oh, yeah. yeah. Minus 38. So it's positive 19. So plus 19x minus 38 over x squared minus 5x plus 6. This is the answer. Any questions on the rate before we move on? Why is that 
Oh, there's more parts to this. It's multiple choice, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. You have a pack of rats, right? right? Yeah. 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 I don't know what you got in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. So why did they didn't use it? It just made it so easy. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Number 10. Number 10. Give a point, negative 5, 12 on the terminal side of theta. Uh, an angle in standard position, find the exact values of the cosine of theta. Okay. So negative 5, 12, we'll call it up here. Negative 5, 12. It is, yes. Negative 5, 12. Who knows the hypotenuse? 13. 13, right? You didn't, you could do Pythagorean theorem. Yes? And what's the Um from the point go directly to the uh, origin and x axis. It's this here, this angle here you're looking for. That's the terminal side? Yep. Go directly to the x axis. And then that's the angle they're always talking about. Ooh. Okay. Alright. If you didn't know five, twelve, thirteen is a Pythagorean triple, you'd have to do Pythagorean formula. And you'll get square root of 169 over 13. Um, and the cosine of the angle, that's all I want to know, is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Cosine? Call it another hippie? So negative 5 over 13. Theta. It's Make it an X if you don't want it to be a theta. That's all it is, a variable. That's it. Except for angles, they use Greek letters. What? Questions on number 10. What's the answer? I don't know. Let's look at the answer choices. Oh, I didn't know. Are we done now? No, it's stupid. 